Good morning, North Carolina Prepper. I want to talk to you guys about a different scenario, such as how would you communicate if the internet gets set, shut down? First of all, as a prepper, this is info you need to think about. Um, well, let me present a scenario. Let's say something has happened and the fiber optic cables are damaged by a ship or whatever, or the internet kill switch gets turned off for whatever reason, or something happens and you lose a lot of internet access. <clears throat> well, this happened in Egypt back in uh, January of 2012. Their government cut off, um, I think, like 88% of the country's internet access. You know, they were planning a revolution and stuff, but that's not the point. <clears throat> the point is, <clears throat> what are you going to do if somehow, for some unknown reason, it gets cut off? Well, step one, you need to quit crying in the corner. Then you need to connect with your people, or your team, or your friends, or even more importantly, your family. Um, there's always a post office, so there's always that. Um, so go ahead and make your network tangible. Post office is a good bet, especially if they're cross country. But let's say my phone gets stolen and the internet goes out for whatever reason, virus or Skynet comes online or whatever. Um, <clears throat> do you know all these phone numbers you need to know? Do you have them printed out? There's a lot of services like Google and such that will show you how to export your contact list on your paper. You need to write all this stuff down and all these addresses. Don't keep everything in the cloud somewhere. When it's out in the cloud, it's not yours. If you don't, if you can't touch it, you don't own it. So you gotta remember that that you, you can lose all your contacts real easy. Now, let's say your family's in a few block radius and you want to talk to them or whoever, your neighbors, whatever. Let's say all the power is out and everybody has battery powered radios, salt left. Well, you can broadcast on the radio. Um, this is a little radio transmitter, FM transmitter. These are easy to get, and they're pretty easy to hang a bigger antenna on and broadcast with. Back in, I would say, 1980s or so, when we were kids, we would take and watch movies at my friend's house. And he lived uh, two doors down. I would take, like, the VCR... And put whatever, whatever movie, Star, let's say Star Wars. We'll put Star Wars in it. <coughs> and we we'll put on Channel 3 to play out. And we take the little power adapters that would amplify your incoming signal and put it in line backwards to give us a 20 dB boost. That would pipe the signal from the VCR back up. And we tune my, my friend's TV into Channel 3 and we could watch it. We were broadcasting very low power, but broadcasting it. Now, that's still a good way to send communications. You got your ham radio, you got your walkie talkies, your general radio mobile service, and your family radio. These are all pretty good. You know, you key up with those and do all that. But that's really good for family and friends and whatever. You can take your phone and set it as a Bluetooth server. I think it's a Blue Talkie, does it? When we used to do gaming raids, playing, you know, video games, we'd all sit around and somebody turned their phone on to a, uh, a Bluetooth app, a server, then we'd all use our little headsets and talk on wireless chat around us with Bluetooth, so that's one way. Another way is a dead drop. This goes along with my secret hiding places, like if something happens to me and I have to leave and I don't want someone to find my message because they're going to loot the house or pillage it and... I can take <clears throat> and plug th put this in something, which I'm going to do another video on that called Dead Drops. But um, you plug this USB thumb drive into a, a wall, you build it in, and then you can put your text file on here, and you can encrypt it with PGP or something. So if they get it, whatever. I know, I know you're going to say, well, who's going to carry around a laptop or a tablet? You know what? Everybody I know. Everybody. And if you don't have the adapter, you're going to be screwed. But you have an adapter. And an extension cord for a USB extension cord, and the adapter you can you can have this USB on your tablet, your iPad, your cell phone, whatever, and you can copy the file that way. Um, you can go even older school. Back in my college days, we had these things called bulletin boards. 
You young kids probably don't know about those, but basically hang papers on a wall and people go up to see what's going on in community things. So these are just real simple ways. I mean, get your ham license. You know, don't do anything illegal. Don't broadcast all kinds of power that you shouldn't have and all that stuff. Because if there is radiation dangerous with ham radio if you're too close to the antenna while transmitting too many watts. That's why you need a license so you understand what you're doing. These are really excellent. Everybody can just go ahead and get these. Um, the low power transmitter for radio, like I could broadcast to my neighbors. If, if something happens and let's say we're in Katrina and it's been a couple of days and all the, um, the generators have run out of gas for the, for the major news sources and stuff. If they have batteries, I can say, you know what, turn your radios on at noon from your watch and I can broadcast to you what's going on. Or I can set up a Bluetooth network or a wireless network. But I don't really want to go into ad hoc networks now because the Wi-Fi networks, that's, that's beyond the scope of what I really want to do in this video. I just want to know what your options are to communicate with your friends and family and other hunters or whatever in the event of a disaster. What, what are your options? How will you tell people where you've gone? Like, I'll leave this. And you watch my other video when I put it up, but... I'm going to put this somewhere, and it'll be publicly accessible. <clears throat> and I'll put a file in there, then I'll put a, another file in there for public. But just for, like, my wife and family and stuff, it'll have its own encrypted file. Um, okay, we're on the telephone and fax machines. Uh, if the phone lines are still up, and you've written down your phone list, uh, copper-based lines are kind of hard to go down. There are earthquakes, and they're still up. They, they still have better banks for days. You can, most people have all-in-one printers. You can just go ahead and, and use that as a straight fax machine to tell them you're okay or where you're going to go or what's going on or instructions or, you know, meet me up at the, you know, the lake, you know, and I'm going to be here and draw a picture and, you know, or here's where the cache is. Everybody, if you look at my other video about where to go, I can fax that map and direction say, look, here's where I'm at. This is where you need to come meet me. I'm at the campsite, but I'm going to be like 50 feet off in the woods. So, you could do that. Um, let's see, dial-up. I don't know how many people still have dial-up modems, but you can set up and run a BBS. BBS most of them have BBS. My laptop still has a, a fax, a regular modem in it. Not a fax modem, but a regular modem. You could use that. Back when Egypt was doing their revolution or whatever it was, most of the people that got on the net were able doing it through uh, faxes. And using the old technology and going to the mobile sites because, you know, 56K is pretty slow. We're not used to that anymore. So, that's basically, tell me what your plans are and what I could do better to protect my family and get information to them. I mean, I'm not worried about ad hoc networking or building wireless bridges or setting my own intranet, you know, to, you know, run like Trillion or YouTube or modify a router to things. But... What, what are your ideas? Please let me know. Please rate and subscribe. And, you know, let's see if we can do things better here. And maybe we can help a lot of people out. All right. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.